Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today we are in the data center, and I might sound a little bit sick because I have been very sick, or not very sick, but just sick, like the flu and bad throat and snot everywhere. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that great. But well, need to make a video for tomorrow, Monday. Be fresh, be good. I have this server. You can see that, can you? Here, it has an orange light. It's not supposed to have an orange light. And that server has a little error. There is a tiny little battery inside it, like these, the three volt lithium cells. And I think it's the 2032, these packages anyway. But we're gonna go to the computer and see what's actually what the blade sender says about that error. So let's go to the computer. So here is my computer and I'm just gonna log in here. Uh, I found a long time ago that Internet Explorer is far the best when you're dealing with IBM slash Lenovo servers and the management modules. I've tried a lot of times with, with Chrome and it seems that the Java and Chrome are not the best of friends. So let's log in here. I'm looking that way which is art and that's where the screen is. So my blade sender management is on this ad. Oh, it remembers it. I don't want. And I get a certificate error. Could probably go fix this, figure this out. I'm not gonna bother. There we are. We get a login. And I just use user ID so far. And I always set this time out. Remember that. If you get kicked off or something stupid, you might end into a loop and then you have to go and restart or reset the, not reset, reboot the management module and that's pretty irritating. So always just set a 20 minute timeout and then it will kick you and you can just do it again. So now we should get into the management module of the plate server. I will get a startup screen here in just a second. And the very first thing we get up here is actually that error, critical events. And it says that my, my LTV EXI host number 30 has an error and that's planar V battery voltage under critical threshold. Let's press that and see what happens. Well, we get an explanation and user blah blah blah. And down here it has an error. I've dealt with this before, so I know that I just have to change that battery. There's no way around it. So let's go back into the server room and it's fairly easy. Let's do that. Well, this blade is an IBM HS22 blade, actually. And we'll just get that out of there and see what we got. Here is the HS22 blade and it's this model number, number 7870 and it has the usual drawings on top of it with everything you can put in hard drives, you can change the processors there's an overview of the system board and some IO expansion options and some numbers and they've hidden the model number away right there. That's what I've, I haven't seen anywhere else where you can actually see what kind, what model this plate server has. But you open it up on the other side and it has the usual two blue buttons on the side that you press and you can open this up and you can take it off. So, here we have, we have two hard drives here, we have the two processors here, kind of dirty, not a good thing, and we have eight slots of memory, no, we have 12 slots of memory, and we have some chips and power regulators and expansion slots and stuff on the back here, and we have a USB stick, 
So we can actually put in a USB stick here and boot our VMware ESXi 6.0 from that USB stick. And we have a little pressing thing here. If we press that. I don't know if you can see that. It remembers that we had a system board error and it lights up down here and it lights up over here. And that's because that's the battery. So we just press it again and it lights up where the error is right there. And the blue thing here, that's the battery cover. How do I take that off? Like that. And there is the battery. So let's take that out. There we go. And that's a good. That's not a good thing. That says CR2032. And here we are. We have some CR2032. And I know here where I live, I have to find these on a discount. If I go down and buy one, I will pay a lot of money for a little stupid battery like this. But sometimes they're on a discount, like this package. I got it at uh, Hardware. Oh, they were having a sale. I, I did a video on that way back. And I got a tons of batteries and I didn't pay much for those. So that goes right in there. And I'll bet that fixes everything. Put the cap back on. And yeah, the server, it, it only has three memory blocks, two here and one here. So 12 gigabytes of memory. Well, there's not much else in here. There is some memory configuration here to tell you which numbers the DIMMs are. They probably haven't had space on the PCB to really put down the numbers. Let's put this back together and see if that didn't fix my little problem. I'm pretty sure it did. And as so many other IBM servers, this server blinks really fast just to start with. It's uh, checking out the blade and checking if everything is okay. And it will be blinking uh, like this when it's done doing that. And when it's done doing that, I can turn it off. And the on button is right there, that white thing. So now it's blinking normally again, like the other ones. And it has no error. So it seems that the battery has done its job. Let's go to the computer and see if that concurs. Back here at the computer, the blade server is no longer red down here. So that's a good thing. Let's check the status over here, system. Oh, it's right up there. There is no error at the top here either. Everything is jolly fine. That fixed the problem. So that was a quick little $1 fix. The blade server was blinking up yellow and stuff. Red, actually. Yellow here and red at the management web interface. And these batteries are really not that expensive if you find them the right place. I know if I go down to the local shop down here, I get to pay, I think I get to pay five bucks for just one or two of these. And I'm pretty sure I paid way under one euro for one of these or one dollar. I forget what, I bought five packages of batteries for, I can't remember, but they were dirt cheap. And this one is just, garbage i'm gonna dispose of that if a ibm complains about the vbat that means that this little stupid three wall battery which really lasts a long time i'm pretty sure that this the, is the original battery that the server came with when it uh, came so it's you don't really have to change them very often but it's the little battery that makes sure that the time and stuff works in the blades and in all the other servers as well. They, they have a similar little battery. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Join me over at Google Plus where I also post things related to my videos. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.